Ready. Action. Two things happened coincidentally. I quit teaching. I was teaching humanities, you know, fine arts and history of Western civilization and everything. I went to New York and I sort of dropped off the, the, the radar of conventional life. I separated from my family. I was living on couches in the Lower East Side. And at that time, I wasn't thinking I was going to be making movies at all. And I was writing and trying to write fine art type of literature. And it was shortly after that that I got this chance to, uh, to do a scary movie, which I never thought of doing before. That was Last House on the Left. You know, Sean Cunningham, who I was working for, just making tiny little films, said, we got these guys in Boston. They'll give us money to make a, a second feature for their theater chain. And they want something scary. Do you want to write something scary? I don't know anything about scary as well. You're raised as fundamentalist, go pull all the skeletons out of your closet. And that's literally, that was as high as the concept was in a way. I never ever thought that I would ever make another horror film and I never thought of it as art. And that, to me, liberated me to not be too precious about it and just kind of go, uh, you know, blanks to the wall and don't worry about what people would think of me and all the things, because I was raised you know, in a very conservative background, very religious. If I had thought that anybody that I knew would have seen that film, as it turned out, a lot of people that I knew saw the film, but I thought it would just kind of go out into some unknown world and be shown someplace and nobody would ever see it again. So I was able to be totally outrageous in that film in a way that I never would have if I had thought I was doing art. <laughs>